Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video today. Um, I have a quick unboxing video to show you guys, but before I get into it, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone that had um, commented, liked and supported my last video. Um, my niece, BB Samorga, organised a video which I'll link down below. Thank you. Honestly, the support means the world to me and this this has actually really helped me film this video. Thank you again for watching it. Honestly, guys, it means the world. Anyway, this video today is an unboxing video. Uh, this is of a purchase that I made from Louis Vuitton here. Um, I picked this up yesterday. I actually managed to go shopping with a few people from the States. And do you know what? I had the best, the best day. I love meeting up with people from Instagram. Um, it's something that just makes this whole Instagram, YouTube thing that little bit more special because you get to you get to interact and you, you can talk about something that you have a passion for. So, I mean, if you guys are ever in the UK, if you ever fancy doing a meetup, I'm up for it. So please let me know and I'm, I'll try. I'll try and work it out logistically if I can get there. A bit of a backstory behind this bag. I actually been, have been looking for this bag for a while. Um, I had the opportunity to buy this in the colour that I really wanted a couple of months ago, but I passed it up. Um, just purely because I was worried on colour transfer because the bag that I wanted was white and I was really, really worried that the colour would transfer across. Um, anyway, long story short, I gave up the search of the white and I managed to get this one. So, uh, yeah, without blabbing on, let me, uh, let's turn the camera around. And this was filmed last night, by the way. I've done this video kind of back to front. I filmed the unboxing last night um, just because I was so desperate to get it up, but then I lost the light, so I couldn't film this part of it. So, yeah. So if the light's a little bit dodgy, I am also going to pop in some inserts of the bag as well, in natural light and in daylight, so you can see what it's like. I'm also going to try and pop in some, um, some body shots as well. So, yes, without blabbing on too much, let's get right into the video. Okay, so guys, as I said, I am filming this later. Um, so I'm filming this last night. Um, on the Saturday, so the day that I picked it up. So the light's a little bit dull, so I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as. But this is my proof of purchase. It's from Louis Vuitton Edinburgh, blah, blah, blah. This was the bag it came in. And this is the box. Um, they always package it up so, so nicely. Um, and it's always such a shame when you have to rip it off. But you just have your standard little ribbon. And if we take this and then this. And this clearly is when I have difficulty getting this off. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so just this really big ribbon and just your standard little, um, little card. The box is kind of big for what it is, but I think they sent it in a bigger box. But this is what I'm seeing here. And then when I take this out, this is what I'm seeing here, guys. And the dust bag is massive. And when you open up the dust bag, you get my, <laughs> ah, my gorgeous new, Oops. Eclipse bum bag. So the official name of this is the outdoor bum bag and this is in monogram Eclipse. So it's kind of small, but um, it's a really good size just as a, a cute little crossbody bag. So let me run through it with you just so you can, just so you can get a real feel for it. Okay, so here we are here. So it's in the gorgeous Eclipse canvas and I love the leather in the top. So this is the front of the bag. So your front features the Eclipse canvas here. And in the front, if you can make it out, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris. And the strap, just around here. Um, and on the back, you just have one piece of Eclipse canvas again. I think it's really effective. And it just has these two little flappy parts down here. And this is all connected with the strap. And the strap is just a standard little kind of flimsy strap. It's not really substantial, which I kind of hoped it would have been a little bit more substantial, but 
I mean, I don't, I don't mind at all. It's not really a big issue. And you then also have the hardware here. So this isn't like a brushed finish. I don't know if this has, oh, it still has the sticker on. But that's the, that's the hardware. I think the hardware is really nice. It's like this brushed silver with Louis Vuitton on one side. Let's just take the sticker off. Because it's mine now anyway, so. Oh wait, it's not brushed at all. It's not even brushed. Oh wow, that's super shiny. Okay, <laughs> so it's not brushed at all. It's very, very shiny. Hello. Mm -hmm. um, so this just says Louis Vuitton Paris on one side and then blank on the other. And the clasp for this as well. Again, super smooth, standard LV. This bag, so it has silver hardware. Again, most, I think actually all Eclipse bags have silver hardware. And it just comes with your two big chunky zips. And again, you guys know that I love these zips because they're so substantial. They just give such a statement from the bag. And I just, I think it just ties the aesthetic beautifully. So your first compartment at the bottom, don't really have a lot of space in the bottom one. But again, this would just be cool for just little, I don't know, maybe like tech pens or something like that. The insides, if you can make it out here, just the standard lining. And then the front, or the, the top part of the bag. This is where your big one is here. Ah, okay, here we go. Here's all the skew information, I'll show you this in a second. Um, that's the inside again. You can get a better look at the material from there. So it's just this, it's a fabric interior. I cannot remember for the life of me what the fabric is called, but that's what it is there. And my little maiden tab says, Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. Oh, that's cool. I love it when you have something that's not made in France. That sounded very sarcastic. I, I was being genuine. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind if it wasn't made in France, I don't really care. And that really is all the bag has to offer, is those two compartments. This, I think, would just be great. Does it have two? It doesn't have a pocket on that side, does it? No, it's just one big empty hole. I feel this bag, as much as it's small, I mean, if you can think of it there, as much as it's small, it is very deceiving in size because I think you could get quite a lot in here. What, um, what I'll probably do is, after a couple of weeks of use, I will do a what fits inside the bag. Um, but yeah, this is massive, but the pocket here is huge. And then you have this extra pocket in the front as well. So I think it would be very, very spacious. Yes, yeah, so that's that's the bum bag. I, I love this shape. I toyed with the idea of getting the kind of standard bum bag shape in Eclipse. But I love the squareness of this one. I, yeah, I just, I find this much easier to wear than the other one. So I'm glad that I picked it up. The skew information, so I didn't realise this was still in the bag. But you just have, firstly, the textile cards. So this just says, outside calf leather and coated fabric textile interior lining. And this is from the Tigrama collection. So this is the code. I mean, if you can still get your hands on it, then great. But I don't know if that this bum bag has been exclusively limited to Tigerama. Um, the Tigerama collection that came out in May. I can't remember. Uh, in March. Was it March? It must have been March, yeah. I'm not too sure. But uh, if you can still get your hands on it, that's the SKU codes. And yeah, I'm really, really happy I managed to get this, guys. Laurel was an absolute gem in getting this for me. Uh, she managed to order one in. There were four left in the UK and she popped the request down to client services and it got accepted. So I was a happy boy with that. But as I said, what I'll do is in a few weeks, I will do a what fits inside the bum bag. But let me just pop in some modeling shots just so you can see what it's like on me. Guys, that is my gorgeous new bum bag. 
in monogram eclipse from Louis Vuitton. Um, so I had initially wanted this in white, which I'll pop over here. Um, something about the bag, it was gorgeous. So one of the guys that I follow online, um, he managed to pick up the bag in white. Naturally, I fell in love with it. I was, I was super jealous. I'm like, I need this bag, I need it in my life. So I had the opportunity to purchase it a few months ago, but I knocked it back because I wanted to do some more research into colour transfer. Um, I just didn't, didn't really know how it would hold up. And the one thing I would hate is for the back of the white to go blue or to go black, because it can happen, it, it can. And that's what I was worried about. I then thought I found the bag in Mykonos. I used the online checker to see where there was a bag. There was one in Mykonos. Anyway, turns out they wouldn't ship it to me. I saw the Eclipse a few times and I thought it's nice, but I didn't want to get another black bag. Don't get me wrong, I haven't settled at all. I wanted this bag. I would have preferred it in white, but given the issues that the white has had, I'm glad that I've gone for black now because A, it's more durable. B, it'll go with everything. And it's very subtle. Guys, I'm really, really happy with this. I am a little bit late to the bum bag craze. I probably will never wear this as a bum bag. <laughs> I did try it on as a bum bag and it looked okay. I don't see myself wearing this anywhere near my waist. If anything, it's probably just gonna be up here, over here, across. I love small bags and I love pouches. This is just that little bit more spacious and I'm, I'm hands-free with it as well, which is always a benefit. But if you guys have any questions about the bum bag, if you have any um, requests, what to see with it, please, please let me know below. I've also been working on a couple of things as well that I'm hoping to share with you guys soon. So in the meantime, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. And as I said, any questions, leave them below or um, have a quick look on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.